once again, thank you for uh, taking the time out of your day to share some of your experience. Can you start by just telling your story in football, like how you started in football, uh, what you did over the years, and what you're doing currently today? Okay, so first, my name is Ivan. I'm from Bulgaria. I'm 19 years old. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a pro football player. I play in Bulgaria, Serie B team uh, called Lokomotiv Sofia. And I, start, I started my career at seven years old. It was strange because my father has sent me at the club. At that time, I was just playing, you know, street style on the, on the street with friends. I didn't expect it, this. So I started my career in first division team in Bulgaria called Levski Sofia. Actually, it's one of the one of the best teams here in Bulgaria with most with like uh, emblem, like history and everything. So I started my career there. Uh, you know, I, I was playing for fun when you were young. You play just for the love of the game. And after every year, by passing, passing, I started, you know, like having something from these habits. Uh, you know, going every day on training. I started liking it. You know, I I was feeling myself in. I was like, this is my thing. Mm. So one day I was twelve years old. I started watching your videos and I'm like, it was all about the dreams, that your aims, your goals, what you want to do with football because I'm like, okay, Ilian, what you want to do? Mm -hmm. I'm like, I want to become a professional soccer player. So I'm, uh, I was watching your videos, thanks God, they helped me a lot. Uh, I made my goals, I made my aims, I was like, how, how I'm going to achieve them? From for what time I'm gonna achieve them and okay, let's start. So I started working like uh, I was like uh, doing everything professional, training uh, two times a day, eating, started eating healthy, most important. Started thinking, uh, changing my set mindset like a professional football player because without this you're not, you're not going you know, anywhere. And after this, you know. I had a massive improvement in my game. I swear, if I was 20% a player from these things, I improved myself until 80%. I still have to improve. I still have to improve. So with these things, with these trainings and changing my mindset, I started like having a successful, successful time in the club. I was still there in Levski Sofia. I started scoring. A lot of goals started doing the things which I want, you know, improve my technique, my cross, my speed, my my uh, my physique, and everything. So uh, I started playing very well. I was scout even with the first team to train, and then you know guys are coming to watch the game scouts, and I was called for the national team of Bulgaria. The first one was under fourteen, yeah, under fourteen. So I. Um, I went there, you know, it's to play for your country is above everything. Mm -hmm. So, so I didn't expect this, you know, to play for my country. And I was so proud, you know, just I never, I never was thinking about this to play for my national team. And okay, I, I was like, look, when you work hard, the things are, they're paying. I, before I wasn't I wasn't believing in this, but it's actually it's like this because the job, our job, football player, is like a, it's like a person. The more you give to the person, he's gonna give you back. Mm. It's like a it's a positivity thing. Mm -hmm. So uh, season by season, I was playing very well. I was, playing, I was training with the first team, spotted by national team, and 2015 we had a Europe Championship under 17. The finals. Yeah, so we're in group with Spain, Croatia, and Austria, and Bulgaria. Us, yeah, Bulgaria in the seventeen. So, uh, first game we played against Croatia, so the second against Spain, third against Austria. So, I played all games. I was like, I had a main position in the team. I was playing number number ten, a defensive midfielder, but. We didn't qualify out for the finals, but it was a fucking 
excuse me from the language. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> it was <laughs> it was it was a unbelievable experience. Which As you can tell by the the sudden swearing, it's passion, man, coming through. Yes, yeah. yes, you know. One day you play in front of 100 people, and after three years you play against, uh, you see, like 11,000. Mm. Uh, you never, you never think you're gonna see this, something mm. like this. But you know, I was, I went to warm up, and like every game, I, I'm used to. You know, not everybody came. You see, some five, six people drinking coffee. Yeah. And I went out to warm up. You see, oh my God, 11,000 people. Mm. Mm -hmm. I'm like, what is? What is this? And mm -hmm. this is the you feel the, you feel the the profession. You feel the football. You feel the how great is the game. How mm -hmm. how much you love it and and more things about it. So after the the Europe Championship, I was spotted by Italian clubs, which I went in Avellino. Actually, it's Serie B team, which is making second division. Actually, mm -hmm. Serie B. And I went there after nine years with Levski Sofia. I went there. I was the age six, 16 and a half. 16 and a half. I went, uh, I had a day which I was, I should have decided or stay here in Bulgaria or go for my dreams in Europe. So I decided I don't care. I, I know it's going to be hard. I know, but. I need these sacrifices, like you said in your videos. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm like, I went there, I was playing for the Primavera. It's actually under 19 in Italian way, they say Primavera. Okay. I was playing for one year older than me. Mm -hmm. And we were playing the championship with teams like Roma, Lazio, Napoli. And uh, how can I say? It is amazing experience. I was there. I was I was waiting just a little bit, like two three months for my documents. It was a hard time, but but you know you can you can use the time for your for your good every Absolutely. day every yeah. second. So I decided to train hard even without the rest day. So the documents came finally, and I started playing very well. My first game was against Empoli and done very well. I finished 2-2, I made the assist and like this, step by step, playing against good teams, Roma, Lazio and others. I was spotted by Bari, which is mm -hmm. against Serie B team, which is okay, more more history, more emblematic, let's say it like this. Yep. Yes, and I was spotted by them, they wanted me to go there. To have a like a plan even for the first team to integrate step by step. So in the summer I went there. In 2016 I went there in the summer. I was 17 and a half years old. I done the preseason. Everything was going perfect. I don't know. It, it, was, it was like I was feeling like you know the days where when I didn't want to train but. I was training it and doing it on like this, you know, I gotta train, I gotta improve. It was these days who they paid, you know, they paid. I was like, I'm like, is it going to happen? And you see everything is going on, everything is going because 